he took a towel he put it around his waist he took a basin and he started to wash their stinking feet he said you want to be great in the kingdom you must be the least you want to be used by me you must be humble God says I can do no more business with you until you humble yourself those of you that want to stand up with me now and repent and say Lord take this hard heart of granite out of me and fill it with a heart of flesh that I can love my family love you and love this country will you stand to your feet with me and let's pray that prayer dear Lord Jesus I ask you to forgive me for a foolish heart of pride thank you Lord for giving me this opportunity to change my ways you're waiting for me with open arms and forgiveness in Jesus name I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior I will serve no other gods but you I thank you for dying for me on the cross of Calvary and because you live I can face tomorrow in Jesus name Amen 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 Thank you for joining us for episode 13 of Ready for Revival with Angus Bucken It's just so nice to be back again with you George this week and to talk about our favorite subject Revival, revival. Well, this week we've got a question about the link between revival and holiness. And that's a very good question, a valid question. There will never ever be a revival without holiness. Holiness is the end product of obedience. When we start to be obedient people, we start to obey the word. And I'm not talking about being legalistic. I'm talking about being holy and we start to cleanse ourselves, then the Holy Spirit will visit us because He will find a place where He can be trusted. We need to prepare our hearts for revival. You see, what you say is what you get. Okay? We have been speaking about revival. We've been praying about revival for many, many months. I have got a very dear friend who says he believes we are going to see the greatest revival the world has ever seen before. And I say amen to that, and I believe it. I am eating revival, I'm sleeping revival, I'm breathing revival, because revival is in the air. There are none so blind as those who don't want to see, and that's tragic. They told me about the Hebrides revival that took place in the northwest of Scotland, on the Isle of Lewis and Harris, that the very church that was praying for revival, the revival came, it went through those islands and left and they still were waiting for the revival. We need to be ready for revival. We need to speak about it. We need to read about it. And we need to prepare ourselves for it because it's on its way. Often, revival comes through a small little church. A small group of people who are determined not to let God go until He blesses them. Just like Jacob said, unless you bless me, I will not leave you. And God will bless us because he cannot be untrue to himself. Well, that's it for this week. Don't forget to join us for Mighty Men Island on July the 11th. Please find the link at angusbucken.co.za for YouTube and Facebook. I just want to say to you, beloved folk from Ireland, I believe God wants to do something special in your nation and particularly among the men. I believe the Lord wants to bring the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, to that wonderful island that has blessed the whole world. I'll see you there on the 11th. Amen.